Yo, what's going on guys? Kultimush back at it with the top 5 best PC game deals of the week. Some really great deals this week, particularly Gamersgate has an awesome anniversary sale going on and I'll cover that at the end. But let's get right into this with number 5. Unfortunately, there is not a fantastic weekly Humble Bundle this week. That's on software. If you guys are interested in different PC gaming software, check it out because there is some good stuff. There are no games, unfortunately. However, there is also the Humble Freedom Bundle that I think you guys should take a look at. You have to pay at least $30, which, yes, is very expensive for a Humble Bundle, but when you take a look at everything you get, it's pretty insane. So it comes with a bunch of games, and games are still being added. Some of the games that you get include The Witness, a fantastic game from last year that's like 40 bucks stardew valley one of my favorite games from last year invisible ink super meat boy world of goo octodad deadliest catch the stanley parable vv vv v, the swapper mini metro song of the deep a lot of great lower key indie titles and i mean you get games like stardew valley and the witness stardew valley even on a steam sale only goes down to like 10 bucks and the witness is also a relatively expensive game and you're getting all of that for just 30 dollars, and more games are being added unfortunately Unfortunately, Subnautica was in this bundle, but so many people bought this bundle that now it's sold out. That sucks because if Subnautica was also in this bundle, then it would just be insanity. It's still pretty great. I know the entry fee of $30 is kind of high, but I think it's well worth it considering all the games you get. Just for a lot of ardent PC gamers, you might already own a bunch of these games, but hey, you can give them to friends and whatnot. And still a great bundle if you get at least four or five games you're interested in, and I'm sure you don't own a bunch of these games. Super Hexagon is also in this bundle that's one of my favorite games one of my favorite time killer games on pc Next up on Steam, they've got a Final Fantasy sale going on, only 50% off the titles, so it's not a very deep discount, but there are still some decent pickups. Final Fantasy 13 is $8. I know that's kind of like the black sheep of the Final Fantasy series. I think if you go into that game not really expecting a Final Fantasy game and just a decent RPG, it's actually pretty good. I completed the game and I enjoyed it. Final Fantasy 13 2 and Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13 are also on sale for 10 bucks. Those games I wasn't a big fan of. Final Fantasy 8 is $6. Final Fantasy 7 is $6. Final Fantasy 7 is amazing. It's my most played Steam game. The Final Fantasy 10 and 10 2 HD remaster is 15 bucks. Those games are going to occupy you for many hours. Final Fantasy 9 is $10.50. Some really good games. Just not the biggest discounts on these games, but they're very good games. And Square Enix typically doesn't offer very big discounts on these games, even during like Steam sales and whatnot. So if you're interested in any of these games, definitely check them out. All right, finally, let's talk about this Gamers Gate sale because it is very good. So for number three, a bunch of deep silver games are on sale on Gamers Gate. Rise Son of Rome is 81% off down to $3.75. Saints Row the Third, the full package is $3.60. Saints Row 4 is $4.40. Metro Redo is $5.70. Decided just to encompass all of these at once because I have talked about a lot of these games several times. So yeah, just some really good games. Homefront The Revolution is 9 bucks. That game is pretty bad, but it's a very recent release, and I know a lot of people were fans of the first Homefront game, so maybe check that out if you're interested. Not a very good game, however. But still, for 9 bucks, that's a very recent release, and that's not a bad price. Number two, they've also got a bunch of Telltale games on sale. Batman the Telltale series is 35% off down to $16.24. That's kind of expensive. That came out very recently, so that's understandable. Minecraft Story Mode is $9.75. Walking Dead Season 1 is 5 bucks. Walking Dead Season 2 is $5.50. Those two games are phenomenal. Probably Telltale's best works. I would highly recommend those. Tales from the Borderlands is also $5. That is a great game. That is just funny as hell. I never expected that game to work well. Borderlands and Telltale crossover, I just didn't think they could pull it off but man did they pull it off and if you're a fan of the borderlands games there's a lot of fan service and tales from the borderlands and i highly highly recommend it absolutely love that game game of thrones a telltale series is 570 and back to the future is 475 so if you've never tried out the telltale games or you're looking for walking dead season 2 something like that definitely check these out great prices on all of those Finally, number one, also on Gamersgate, of course, a bunch of the Rockstar games are on sale. Unfortunately, if you buy from Gamersgate, you're not going to get Steam codes, and I do know that people are stingy about that. 
However, they've got some great prices nonetheless. Grand Theft Auto 5 is $24. It takes forever for these GTA games to go down in price. $24 bucks for it, not a bad price. GTA 4 is just $4.80. LA Noir is $4.80. Those are really the main deals. I think GTA 5 is the one that most people are going to look at because that game, whenever it goes on sale lower than $30, bucks, that's a pretty freaking good deal. I believe that it was actually $30 on Steam a couple of days ago, but I think that sale has ended. $24 bucks for a non-Steam version. I think that's still very much worth it and some people don't even care about whether a game is on Steam or not So for you guys 24 bucks absolute steal You can also pick up Grand Theft Auto 5 directly from Steam if you want a Steam code That version is 50% off for $30 So for those of you that are stingy like me and definitely want the game on Steam You can get it for $30 Otherwise over here on Gamersgate you can just pick it up for $24 Whichever route you go Not really a big deal I'm sure some of you guys want to save that extra $6 And don't care where the game's redeemed at but I know those of you are out there like me that just want all their games on Steam, so whichever route you go, you're getting the game. Just a $6 price difference there. So that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Some great deals this week. That Freedom Bundle on Humble Bundle, I know it's got a pricier entry, but still, you get so many good games. Final Fantasy fans have something to look at, and then Gamers Gate has a sick sale going on, so a lot of good stuff this week. Let me know if you guys pick anything up in the comment section down below, and as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.